I'm going to try and quickly show you all how to do doors. Um, the reason that my model is only half complete is that you can really do doors whenever you decide you want to do them. Some people like to do them as they go along. I prefer to do them um, after I do my whole model, but in this case I'm going to show it to you midway through. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is go over and uh, click my square tool. And it's important that I mention, let me orbit a little bit so you can see, um, but it's important that I mention that uh, when doing this, the only thing you have to worry about is placement. I don't expect you to measure where you put the doors, but I do expect you to have specific measurements of the door. And of course, um, I should mention that you can't put them over areas where um, there would be a wall in the way. Um, so you can see that that won't work. Uh, I'm going to Command Z that until it goes away. And then I'm going to orbit so I can see a little bit better because I'm trying to put a wall between, this is my uh, garage, this here would be a storage room or a, sto a closet that basically you could walk into. And there's a door that goes into my den here between those two. So I'm going to put a door right about over here. I'm going to zoom in because I want to get it exactly like really close to the edge when I bring it out. All right, so I want it to go um, three feet by six feet, so that's three apostrophe comma six apostrophe, I press return and it locks into place. When I want to push it, so you can see that it doesn't hit the T, luckily. Um, if it did, I'd have to redo it closer to this area. Um, and by T, I mean this here. So when I go to push it through, I use my push-pull tool and I start pushing it through and I could just hover where it says on edge, on the opposite edge of the wall, and it'll make it go through. I can use my eraser tool to uh, erase that extra line there. And whenever I use my eraser tool, I've probably said this a couple times in other videos, but I make sure that nothing turns blue in my whole piece. So it looks like everything is normal the way I left it otherwise, except for the hole in the door, of course, or the doorway, I should say. Um, so everything is looking good. Um, sorry if I'm giving you vertigo by going like this, but I always check when I erase, and you always should too. Woo! All right, anyway. Um, so I also am going to do a larger door, because right over here in my den, which is a room with a couch and a TV basically, uh, are sliding glass doors that lead outside. Um, I'm not going to push this one through, however, but I want to show you how to make double doors, basically. Uh, the obvious... The only difference really is we're going to double the dimension of the side. So instead of it being six, uh, three by six, it's going to be six feet by six feet return. All right. And if I wanted to like push it through, I could. But what I'm really, what I think you'd prefer is how to make it actually look like glass. And I'm going to review that later on when we talk about paint buckets and painting the house. I'm definitely going to save that for last because I'd rather you worried about that last. I'd rather you have a complete model than one that's half finished and painted. Um, so for now, uh, I'm going to Command Z and leave it so it's just a square there. That's my double glass door that leads outside to the back. Um, I'm also going to do a garage door. The difference of the garage door is it's not going to have exact, well, it is going to have exact measurements, but they're not something that is going to be the same for everybody. Um, I'm going to make mine 7 by 8 feet because I know that will fit in this area uh, easily without getting hit by either of the sidewalls. So I'm going to come in here and click and open it. And now, of course, just like every other time, my finger is not on the button when I opened it, and I can start typing. So uh, six apostrophe comma eight feet return. All right, so you can see that it goes all. It's it's in the wrong direction. So if that happens, I got to command Z it and just reverse the directions. So sometimes it might pop up wrong, even if you're doing it with the right dimension first. Um, but if it does that, you know that you just have to do it again with the dimensions reversed. Sometimes it does that depending on where you click it. All right, so um, this is my garage door. I'm just going to push it in a little bit because, again, it's not in a place where you could just walk through, um, nor is it, is it a place where I have a normal interior door. This is something where if I pop it open, someone can just walk into my house, and I don't really want that. Um, I do want it, I, you are, this is a good point, because you're not actually going to literally make doors, you're just going to make doorways, because ultimately, whoops, I'm, I'm lost here, by the way, if you ever get lost in a wall, this is the way to get out, it, it returns you to your full project, full page. Um, I was saying that I don't want to have actual doors, I just want to have doorways, so ultimately I can like, um, move through the house as if I was a person. I'm going to do one more quick doors or review and then I'm done because I know that there is a door here that goes from my garage to my storage room so I can get in the house through my garage once I pull my car in. Alright, so um, this is going to be a three, the normal size door which is three by six feet. Enter. 
And it looks like I did that one too close because I hit the wall. So I'm going to move over a little bit more and do it again. Three apostrophe, comma, six apostrophe, enter. And now I can push this through again so there is an open doorway. And again, I'm just going to hover over that opposite edge and erase that. So here we go with the upcoming vertigo scene. Um, I'm stressing this. I'm sounding like, um, what's the word? Um, I'm very... Like I, you have to do this. I'm very uptight about it um, because if you have a mistake and you don't realize it and you work longer, you're going to have to do some of that work over. So you can see with a lot of careful um, ability, I can literally start walking through the house now using my pan tool, which is the hand, and my orbit tool to navigate through my doors. So whoa, now I'm going into walls again. All right, so I'm going to go back to here. All right, so the end, how to make doors.